All right, welcome to episode 28 of the Road to SSL series. I'm about to leave for my honeymoon for two weeks, but I'm keeping the daily uploads going while I'm gone. So I'll have to pre-record quite a few episodes of Road to SSL, but the season is ending in 17 days and we're sitting at Grand Champion 1, Division 3 and 2s and Champion 2, Division 2 and 3v3. We're probably not gonna make it in this entire season. Uh, so we'll probably have to go back a little bit, which is totally fine because that's just the natural progression of ranking up in this game. But before we get to the games, we have to the meme of the day. And today we have Mutaleek with Retails. This one's a pretty good one. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's get rid of the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, game numero uno. We've got Ske against uh, two solo queues, Krizzy and uh, N21. Let's see how it goes. I got bumped off the kickoff. That's a good follow-up touch. Try and bump this guy or something, get in the way. Also, my teammate didn't get the boost, so he's going to be pretty low. I thought I'd try and get on this ball though. Get a clear and then try to follow up with this touch. See, I can rush this and try to get a, a bump or demo or something. So I did use quite a bit of my boost to do that, but I think it's wise to pressure that player. Good demo from Skay here. I got time, so I can touch this ball softly. I don't want to hit it too hard because then it, it'll be a uh, loss of control. But a really good uh, demo there or bump attempt. I like the patience from Skay. I'm waiting in mid. That's a good clear off the backboard. This guy might miss. He doesn't make a touch, so I'm going to take the back corner. Now I can stay with this ball. Try and pop it up nice and high. See if Skay wants to go for it. And now I'm waiting for uh, N21. I can already tell he's making a touch here, and then I go for the shot. I'm waiting for N21 to make a bad touch in the corner, um, and then I get a free ball. Like, if I rush this in the corner, I'm probably going to get beat, or it's going to be a 50-50 of some sort. And you can see that my teammate is in the corner, so there's nothing he can really do to cover me. So I'm just going to wait for a play that's more advantageous and gives my, uh, gives my teammate time to get back. Um, a lot of the time, like, I've talked about this before, a lot of the time in the game is uh, time off the ball. For some reason, this goal explosion is so loud. I hope they fix it soon. I don't know which one it is, but it's this, like, whatever this one is with the water thing. It's so loud. Yeah, I hate when people use it because it's so, it's so, like, deafening. Um, <laughs> it's like an explosion going off. Um, what I was trying to say is that, like, even in 2v2, 75% of the time... You're off the ball. So I think that's why... I actually think this is why Rocket League put... Wow. I think this is why Rocket League is such a difficult game. Because people play so much free play and so much time on the ball. That all they know is 25% of the game in 2v2. Obviously, that's an exaggeration. But what I'm saying is that you need to play like a lot of good positions off the ball. You need to be in a good spot for your teammate. You need to be in an awkward spot for the opponents to make them play awkwardly. There's so much more that goes into the game than what's like just on the surface. Which is why it's such an easy game to understand. Um, but such a difficult game to master. Because there's so much to do with like things that maybe you're not noticing. That even when you watch pro play, a lot of what the pros are doing off the ball is to force the opponents into an awkward spot. Is to make them, is to make them uncomfortable. Stuff like that. This is a very fast start here. We have four goals, but I feel like there hasn't been like anything crazy going on. I just went for like a normal aerial goal and people have been doing those like backboard reads pretty decently. A decent 50. This could be a good chance for them. Skate gets there though. I'm across here just in case he pops it out, which he does. Just gonna hit it. Not towards target, but I'm gonna follow him up because it's a good pass. And they're both recovering still. So I'm just gonna go behind my teammate now. It's a pretty early aggressive challenge from him, but let's we'll see if they make a play on the field. So it's going to go off the backboard. And even though I didn't touch that ball off the backboard, I was ready for it on the ground. Teammate's very low. He's trying to wave dash. Does make the shot towards target. Good, good save, though. I'm going to turn on this and hit this to the side. Teammate missed the mid boost, which is totally fine. I'm just going to grab a couple of pads on my way back. Nice. We end 21 here. Pop it around with that touch. Great follow up though and great dunk. That's the kind of risk that you're going to take if you pop that ball off the wall. And I could have recovered faster. It was a big dive for my teammate. I could have stalled more for him to get back instead of popping that back towards the opponent. Um, but I could have hit that higher too. I got space in the corner here. So I got a solid 50 and then try to stay near the ball. Try to make it awkward. Get a follow up from my teammate. I don't want to crowd him in the corner here. Let him get the boost. Still on the side. Good try on the backflip. Backflip flick. Backflip flick. <laughs> a big miss though. And it might be another shot. And there's a finish. Just like awkward reads off the backboard. I feel like he could have went up the backboard too here. He, he almost decided to. And then decided to jump up instead. But if he was just positioned like ready on the backboard. 
He could have driven up and used some of his boost to get a big clear there. You don't want to throw away some of your options by going towards the net there when you don't know what's going to happen. He could have like slowly like inched towards the backboard to go up that, that back wall or decide to go into the net instead of like deciding altogether he's going to make one choice. We got a 3v3 game though. We got a full solo queue it looks like. So we're starting to move up into hopefully uh, Grand Champ by the end of this uh, season of Rocket League. I don't know if we're going to make it to SSL in either of these. Uh, Playlist, but we'll have to see. I'm gonna sit in mid here. Looks like Hearth makes a touch off the backboard. Maybe a pass in mid. Gonna wait. I can't quite go on this because I am last man. I'll let him try to demo him here. Now I get the ball for free. It was a close 50 50 chance. He's gonna get a touch here, so I'm just gonna get behind my teammate. See what uh, usually kind of confused sometimes is gonna do. <laughs> I'll hit this off the side wall, see what they do with the touch. Try and smack this around the, the wall, but they're very, very comfortably defending that off the, the backboard. And sometimes you just want to break down the defenses slowly. That's kind of the, the play of the game here. It's a little dangerous. Looks like he didn't have it, though. Like, I don't want to go for that just because they may miss. Like, if he hits it, like, I'm going to be outplayed. Try and bump them here. Joker has full boost, though. And even though I have, like, 20, I can probably sit in mid here and try and get, like, some sort of play off the ball. And there's the finish. I don't want to back off when there's a position to be played in mid. And I knew there was a potential 50-50 coming out. That would make it awkward for the opponents. But I want to stay close there while my other teammate, my third teammate, is rotating back. Could be a good chance to be open net. Nice finish. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happened. I saw a, a miss off the backboard. But also here, early dunk uh, chance from Joker. Um was not a great opportunity. He could have like just went for the boost and then rotated back or something. But he tried to cover it in some way. You can also just back off, get a, a boost pad or two, and then try to ba uh, block any chances. Good save. The Hurt's going to rotate on this. Both my teammates are pretty far back, so I'm just going to grab the mid boost and then just rotate wide here. Waiting for Joker to make some sort of touch. It's going to be awkward for him, though. And waiting for kind of confused sometimes. I see that he's trying to fall on it, so I'm just going to hit this to the left side around them. And then go for a pop off the backboard, see if my teammates can follow it. Good shot, almost in. Another good shot, almost in. I'm going to get behind my teammate here if I can. Should be Binks to make a touch off the, off the corner. I'm probably going to get this boost taken for me, but I'm going to get a demo and then try to force this guy. You see, I was behind the ball already, so or in front of the ball. Now, I didn't want to really um, try to go for the ball again because it's already going behind me. And it's like, I, I don't want to waste my speed. Is that in? Oh, my goodness. And instead, I'm try trying to make it more awkward for the next player. I could probably go for this, but I'm, I'm a little late now because I waited. If you're going to hesitate at all, you don't want to go. That's unlucky spawn. I just spawned in front of my teammate. Almost had a touch. I'll wait for Barca here. I'm cutting my teammate, but I'm going to be definitely faster there. Just to make a pop. I also cut my teammate again. <laughs> At least I expect him to go. I'm cutting in front of my teammate again, which is totally fine. As long as I'm covering that position. Should be Binks to make this touch, though. Trying to avoid the bumps. This might be open if you're joking to make the touch. He pops it up a little too softly, though. One of them could turn here. Don't want to, like, overcommit. You can see how that would have been a, a bad decision if I went forward. Yeah, sometimes I find that like if my teammates are playing slow, cutting in front of them with full boost is totally fine if it's like a comfortable spot. Pop this around the one. Hit this off the backboard, see if they can follow it. Good save from uh, the blue team. Big overcommit from Binks. Could be a double touch. Does miss it though. I'm trying to get ready back for it. Oh, my teammate didn't go. That was kind of scary. He's in front of me, but then didn't go. I'll let them try to go. It's definitely going to be... I was going to say someone should have, should have been on that ball, but on the field. I am last man. I'm just going to pop it behind them. They didn't expect that. All three players on the blue team returned. Looks like Joker wants it. It's very low, though. Oh, that's not not the touch I wanted. It might be awkward. The double touch was not not intended. Teammate is zero boost, but I should be able to hopefully challenge this off the side wall. It does, it does miss, though. A good finish. So I was trying to play the read off of the one player, and he ends up not hitting it across the net. I think he, like, 
Yeah, he like totally whiffed. <laughs> and then my teammate didn't get a good clear there. He had he had time off the backboard with full boost, but unfortunately missed. Yeah, fine 3v3, you definitely have to play that like good position where you're you're playing for yourself in solo queue. Is anybody gonna go for this for me? Oh my goodness, what a save. Oh. Oh. Oh, good good finish potentially. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what a goal. There's so many times where I'm getting caught in a, sp a weird spot because I'm expecting a touch to come out somewhere and it's not. So you can definitely tell that like predicting too much is not good at this rank. Um, obviously, like predictions play a big role in SSL level because everyone's very, very consistent and things come out in a certain way that you kind of expect most of the time. I'm going to try and get a bump on the last player here, see if he's going to be awkward. Um, but yeah, you, you definitely need to play prediction a little bit, assumptions. At the same time, like, you have to play... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go, go fast on this. I'm gonna stop playing, like, reserved and slow. Um, it's a lot of the time, it's like, um, you gotta play predictions, but also play worst case scenario, even if it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Good 50. It's a big clear. Someone's in the corner here, so I'll be a little careful. But my teammates are also not back yet. Alright, it's totally fine. Yeah, slow rotations. You gotta make sure you rotate back for your teammates as soon as possible. You don't wanna be lingering at the field. And that's why, like, challenging with zero boost is also not a good choice. Oh, he backed off. He faked the ball. Challenging with zero boost is scary because you're putting yourself in a spot um, where you can't recover fast. So if you're gonna make a challenge, probably best to make challenges when you're, like, you know, 30, 40 boost, but never when you're zero. Now, both my teammates are, are struggling to rotate back again, but looks like he's gonna turn on this. Catch them off guard. Might be open. Nice finish. That was a good turn for my teammate. I could have maybe cut there as well, but I, I was last man, so I just let him go instead. And we get the finish. Big fakes. The guy tried to read the touch off of Joker too, so it just happens sometimes where you're trying to read a play and it doesn't doesn't work out. That's kind of the, uh, I won't say beauty of Rocket League, kind of the stupid thing about Rocket League is that playing bad can sometimes be good. And it's one of the only games I can think of that, that, that actually is the case. We do division up, we're division three and champion two. We're still quite a ways away off of grand champ, but we're getting there slowly but surely. I don't know if you guys like the longer series. I feel like this is more realistic of a grind. Like if you play off of a new account and you rank up really quickly, it's not realistic on how long it truly takes to get up the ranks. I think it's just like not a thing that happens. Like when your account is established and you've played for hundreds of hours, you're gonna get, you know, eight to nine points per game at most. And it takes, quite a few hundred MMR to get up there. So I, and I am losing some games here and there. So it's not like I'm just straight up, you know, grinding every game and just getting a win every time. It's not realistic for anybody to win every game at their rank. You know what I mean? So even if you're like playing slightly above the level of somebody who should be ranking up, you're not going to win every game. It's just a, a team-based game like this. You're going to win and lose some games here and there. It's just the reality of it. I'm going to wait in mid here. It's a cross for me. I should have this ball first. I'm going to try and stay in front here and try to air dribble it down. Looks like all the players are trying to read it. And they actually end up nearly own goaling. You see that right there with my teammate uh, diving. At that point, like it was already a point of no return. He should not go for that. Nobody's behind me. The, my, my second man ended up pushing in front of me while the first man's still ahead. Good turn on the shot. Could be a shot opportunity for them. Off the backboard. Should be here first. I can get a catch first and try to stay on the wall here. Get a clear. And I can maybe chase this down in the corner. He's going to definitely beat me, but just forcing them into a play. Good cut from the uh, the opponents as well. That looks like JSS might have this. It's an awkward touch. He tried to get the demo and then ended up making a pop on the ball instead. So I'm just going to back out. Don't really want to touch this. A little scary. So he's going to get a beep. I'm going to bump him a little bit. Make it awkward. The pop forward does just go to the opponent. But I can get a touch here and then try to follow it in the corner. Both players go. Pop it around him here at the last second. Hopefully one of my teammates can turn. Your cutest nightmare. I just read his name. It's kind of funny. Okay, awkward clear, but e -heart is or Erhart er er is there. So I'm just going to get a touch. Around uh, 10x is going to go touch. Or how many x is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I think it's 10. It's 10. 
10 X's. We get this chip around them here with this touch, and then I get space in middle. I'm trying to wait for one of them to maybe come closer for a challenge, and that way I can get it over them. Bit of an awkward position for my teammates, but see if he wants to turn on this. Maybe he makes a touch middle. He does miss. I'm just going to go for this touch. And with that touch, that it does lead to some sort, some sort of double. If you like go for that angle, that's going to pop right into where you're going. Go for a big clear. The second you can get a touch off the side of the ball like that, when you're facing that wall, it's going to pop in a mid much more awkwardly. I'm going to pop this off the backboard, see if my teammate can finish it instead. Close. A loop behind. Let Orbital go for it. Hit this off the corner, see if he can follow it in the corner. Maybe make a pass of some sort. He does miss. This guy misses too. Good chance though. That's a little scary for me to go for because I was last man, but Orbital was rotating back, so it wasn't the, the worst decision. Whoa. Wait for the read here. Make sure I get a good solid read on the ball. I am last man there, so it is a little scary if they go a little faster off that ball, but not the worst spot to be in. This is going to bounce awkwardly off the corner, and I wasn't sure if my teammate was going to be ready, so I just cut in front there. He's comfortably in net, which is totally fine. Should be a, a return clear. It's not the best touch from the opponents in the corner. It does put it right back to one of us to get a clear back in. Oh, good try. I can stay with this here. A little bit of a miss, but it does give us a, a decent chance. Good pressure, keeping it in. Looks like they might get a touch here. I can go with the wall here and then get a clear back in. It's weird to play like slightly slower for me. I I make like a weird like I, like some of these mistakes are like genuine mistakes just because I'm playing like a little bit not awkwardly, just like playing slower, um, like not to the pace I'm used to on certain touches and stuff. But I'm trying to play at the pace. Of every rank, like as uh, as always, and it, I feel like I do a decent job of it. We're keeping this game rather competitive. Let's see if Nightmare can get a touch middle here. He does try to make it. He could. He couldn't really get a proper flick because he was zero boost. He just trying to make a shot. Should be somebody to clear here. Nice. Trying to follow this for for my teammate. Good try. Good follow up. Oh, that's a good touch. Could be an open shot off the post, though. Big miss. I'm just going to pop this up. Make them really awkward. Get the boost as well. So we have time in the corner. Hit this a high off the backboard. Should be 10x, though, to get a clear. Let's see if we can keep this up. It's a good pop. Oh, <laughs> it dies. There are like five cars in the corner there. So I'm going to go back corner. Get a half flip. Going to wait for JSSSJ here. That's all the players. And it's on the field, and that's the open net. Wow. Yeah, that's all it took. It was a little scary for me to go there because um, I was, like, kind of last man. But Orbital did make a really solid turn. And there's the finish. So a complete 0-0 zero -zero game until the overtime. But they overcommitted. Like, all three players went for that ball. So I just got to cut at the right time. And uh, it threw them off, and we get the goal. All right, we have 2v2. I can't remember if this is the third or fourth game, to be honest. I'm, like, lost in the sauce. I think this is the uh, the third game. We got uh, Ian Season with Salties and Weber. I missed the boost, but it's all good. Big clear, but that's going to go right back to me. And now keep in mind, we are in Grand Champion now, so it's a little bit higher rank than our 3v3 rank. I was got to remember that it's a little bit different. Should I get a beat on this guy? Try and get the bump on this guy too. Weber doesn't need to jump. You can see this ball is just comfortably going. Look at where it's landing. He could have been on this ball right there um, to follow the touch in the corner. So a lot of people panic there when the ball's high up. They just are so scared of the ball doing things. But you have to keep in mind where players are. Like, is anyone in mid doing anything right now? Does Weber need to touch this? No. Like, do I need to make any touches here? I need to jump now because this guy's going to be jumping. But that's, that's the kind of difference in when you should be jumping. If there's a chance for a player to be in the position to make a touch, then make the touch. Looks like they're waiting. I'm going to go for a shot. Good save. Went for the right side there. Oh, that was awkward. Should be okay, though. There we go. Uh, I was going to try and make a shot. 
I'm not sure why he's saying holy cow is a good chance for me. I'm gonna pop this off the backboard. Go for a shot, bottom left, and there it is. Let me say, uh, oh my god. <laughs> That's a perfect chance for his teammate to be pushed up and make a shot when it rolls in the mid there when the, with the space. There was no way that was going to be a goal. He could have controlled it in the corner there. I'm going to try and get a 50-50, so it should be a cross. Decides not to cut it, though. Once again, ball is safe in the corner. Lots of times where he's just making touches that he doesn't need to be. Wait for the shot. Pops it up. Now, is anybody going to be challenging this? Potentially. That's totally fine, though. Should be Weber to get back. Never mind. He uh, went for the corner boost and then drove up the field a little bit. Not not exactly what you should be doing in that position, but I don't want to like harp on this guy too much. Just a couple awkward position positioning changes should be off the, the mark there. I covered the net side. Get a clear on the field. See if it's in. Oh, nice one. That's a good shot. Really good doink. This might have just been in too because they were both overcommitted on the right side trying to get the mid boost. All right, so this guy's going for this, but he's going to be low boost, going for an awkward touch. Now he's zero. So he's going to make it just a pop flick, most likely. There it is. It's the only thing he can really do in that situation. Okay, let's go back to the opponents. I'm 35 boost. I like the control here. This is good touches. Good bump as well. I'm going to try going for it. They're definitely going to save it, but just getting a good 50-50, solid, solid 50 there. Not the best touch. There was nobody going to be going for that because they're in a spot. This could be a good shot. Yeah. There's nobody going there because he's so close to the ball. Like right here, he could have driven with the ball. There's no. This guy's not going to go. So like he needs to just realize that the bounce off the wall is a safe play. That's why I pushed up there because I thought I was going to like rotate behind him while he was going up the field. Um, but he just ended up making a pop towards nobody. All right. Staying close with the 50-50. And it's in the back corner. That was a good 50. I don't think that the opponent played the 50 the best. He didn't play, like, full goal side. Yeah, he played, like, to the side of it and then ended up getting scooped back in the back right corner. And he also, like, didn't, like, jump off at the right angle, so he had to use a lot of boost just to pick up his pace towards the ball. Okay, awkward touch in the corner here. He's going to probably make a pop middle, so I'm ready for that. Fine, it's across. Nobody's there. This is the kind of control we need, just keeping the ball close. It's a good demo. It's a little scary for me to not go early. See, I'm just not going on target with the ball. If you try to go on target with that ball, you're going to give too much time for the opponent to make a cut. I'm going to cut this off with a backflip here. The ball is so far ahead that there's no way that my teammate should be getting to that ball. And you can see that it was just like a pretty free touch for the opponent. So I'm just going to keep this controlled in the corner. Looks like my teammate got full boost. Did leave this for me. Totally fine. Once again, their last man's probably not going to go here. Probably not going to go here either. So he needs somebody to cover him. That's why I'm waiting for a good chance to flick that player who's going to be challenging. Okay, aerials. And it's in. <laughs> Just a couple little uh, air dribble touches, and that's all it takes in GC, I guess. Nobody really made a challenge. Everybody's like trying to jump really early. I find that that's a big thing right now. Wasting a lot of boost jumping really early. This guy might turn in this. He might not. Let's see what he does. He's trying to make a turn and we just gotta go for a direct shot. The second I see him do like a three-point turn, which he actually literally did a three-point turn. Like I see him right here. Like right there. He just backed up and turned around. That's when I can go for the shot. Top right. Pretty safe uh, to assume that we're going to get a goal there. Uh, or at least a shot on target. And it was close save from the opponent. We divisioned up as well, Division 4. So we're getting close to the Grand Champ 2. We get threes for the final game. We got Dirk and uh, Squanch Wampus. <laughs> That's an amazing name. Okay, let's see what happens here. I can rush this and just pop it up. And then maybe take the corner boost and steal it. It's a good cut from Rikari, though. I'm going to get behind Squanch. Wait for Noodle to go for a shot. It's off. Good pop. I should have maybe jumped for this, but I don't trust him to make a shot. All right, it's placed in the corner. Clearly going to get a touch, but this should be somebody in mid to go for the clear. And I'm going to try and sit near him here in case he decides to back off. This mid boost is is um, 
is there for my teammate, but I do take it and try to go for the shot instead. Good try on the control and go for a 50 again. He doesn't end up making the touch. He doesn't jump early enough. I really don't shouldn't be doing these turns. I saw my teammate was pretty far off the side, so I decided to go for it. Because that ball would have led to my teammate just fine if he was in the in the position. I'm gonna try and bump this last guy, see if I can get a bump here, make it awkward for him. Good positioning from uh, Wampus here. I would have preferred the boost steal in the corner there. It would have been a better play because he already has pressure. They have to make a touch. And in that position, like, getting the boost boost steal and starving the opponents is going to be the better play. Unfortunately, no one on my teammate uh, or my out of my two teammates was able to get in the way of this one. Um, yeah, Dirk ended up backing off. Looks like um, he also threw off uh, Wampus a little bit. Let's go for a bit of a speed flip. I feel like people are starting to do them a little more, but not really proper ones. Dirk is up. It's a bit of a scary ball to go for, but I am in a good position to go for a touch. I prefer he didn't touch that because I already have control, but it's all good. I'll just rotate behind. A little scary for me to go for anything like here because I'm, I'm not really able to really read what's happening with these touches. This could be a good chance. So I'm going to try and bump Noodle on his read. Good try. I'll turn on this. I'm, I'm going to be the one to get there the fastest because of my pace. And uh, my teammate's not going to be able to rotate quickly enough to get the 50. Let's see if Dirk wants to go here. Go for a high clear. Looks like Willing's in an awkward spot now, so Dirk's able to get a touch, but it does go right back to the opponents in the corner. Go for a touch. Ooh, I'm going to miss a little bit. Awkward. Maybe a clear from Dirk, though. Go for a shot. Willing's awkward. Go for the back corner and then rotate in. All right, should be space here after this touch. It's nice and high. See what they do. Maybe squ uh, Wampus can beat him. Oh, he does miss. And Dirk expected it too. Good touch. Should be a good chance here. Might be open, actually, if he can get a bump. I'm, I'm actually missing this. Let my teammate go for it. Good chance. See, people are getting like really high clears, but I can maybe stay with this here. My teammate still didn't ex like really respect my touch, but I'm keeping good pressure here. Go for a shot towards target, see if they can save it. Good save. Should be uh, Wampus make a touch in the corner. Maybe Noodle with an awkward touch. Dirk's a little close. Oh, he's making. He's what is happening? Give me a shot towards target too. Good save though. Trying to get in the way of the shot. It was a little awkward because it was pretty far, but I do get a follow-up. Oh, boy. It's in. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be really easily stable for me. This is a bit awkward. Not not the greatest touches. People are, are making, like, really uh, awkward clears or awkward touches that are, are do not need to happen when your teammate is ready for the ball. I'm going to go back right here. Good clear. I'm going to let this touch go off, off the side here and then go for a touch. Maybe go for a bump off this guy too. And that guy. Oh, I do end up touching it though. Unfortunately, on the way back. Nice finish. Great play. And this is like a good interruption play from me. I ended up like bopping the ball back, which was not intentional, but did make it really awkward for all, the team, uh, the, uh, all of their teammates in the net there. Let's see if I can cheat up for some sort of 50 that's in a safe spot. Go for a clear. Go back right here first. Looks like I can get a big clear. Not the best touch from them. Wampa should be on this ball. Looks like Dirk wants it instead. Gonna keep the clear in. It's a great clear from them. Hopefully Wampa's gonna make a touch. He does. Hit this across for Dirk. See he does with the ball. Should be hopefully uh, Wampus to go here or somebody. Yeah, somebody should have definitely been there. Like, that was a pretty free touch. Good demo. 
a good turn from them. We got 20 seconds. Let's see if we can make a play down the field. And one more touch. Oh, uh, I made like one extra touch. I couldn't get a proper touch. Oh, squanch. My friend. Oh. Oh, good try. It was a good try on the dribble. Keep this up. Someone took my boost, though. <laughs> I think Dirk took it. I don't know what the heck that was. Yeah, not the, not the cleanest game. I will not lie. But, you know, it's okay. Threes happens like that sometimes. Uh, I hope you guys know the episode either way, though. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, so we have a cashier, and we have rattles. Let's get them about the same size here. Just place them in the right spot. Let's grab them. Okay, let's clean up the back a little bit. Let's try to blend this in. I think it's uh, probably going to fit in pretty nicely. Just going to change the, the lighting a little bit and probably the size of his head. And then we got to blend this in. Maybe you grab the neck line. Let's grab this guy right here. All right, that's seeming pretty good. I think the background needs a bit of patching. What did I do to his face? <laughs> Why is his eye missing? Okay, let's bring the exposure up, maybe. Let's just try that. I wish that I could see the whole image. Even that's like pretty good you know that'll that'll probably work one final detail to add here let's just add the credit card all right there it is retails hope you guys enjoyed the video